I'm sure you all are well aware of the successful actor, director, stuntman, and martial artist Jackie Chan. But did you know that he is a huge consumer of K-pop? I know, right? So much so that he even leveraged his resources to create a label and form his very own seven-member K-pop boy group named JJCC. So what happened to them and why aren't they on the K-pop map like the other groups? Well, let's talk about it. When Jackie Chan integrated into the music industry, he had a vision for his goals. According to Wiki, Jackie Chan wanted to bring Asian cultures together through charisma and melodies. When the seven members, Eddie, Yul, Zika, Simba, Sanchong, Prince Muk, and Iko were selected, Jackie Chan made it his personal business to manage produce and train the guys on everything from singing to dancing stunt work acting songwriting and rapping not to mention all the members could speak three languages those being korean english and chinese seems like he had the recipe for brilliance if you ask me i mean i don't know they sound like some some machines over there so what happened you know well because jackie chan's name was linked to this new group they got ample coverage in the west such as the new york post and several other notable news outlets so these news outlets were like reporting on them when they first came out because jackie chan is really big in the west we all know about his movies he's done like amazing work for the film industry in Hollywood like he is definitely a household name I grew up watching a lot of his movies I mean I love his work uh some of my favorite movies of his are like of course the Rush Hour movies and then like Shanghai Night Shanghai Noon I could go on and on like he's just a fantastic actor stunts man like he does all his own stunts he's just incredible so to hear that he's coming out with his own group of course that would like spark some interest and create some buzz you know like who wouldn't want to see jackie chan go into the music industry like that's not something i ever thought i'd ever say out of my mouth but here we are so on march 20th 2014 was the official debut day of jjcc I'm just so curious about their name. Like, does it stand for Jackie Jackie Chan Chan? Like, (laughs) did the man think that his name was so nice he wanted to hyphenate it twice? Like, I just, I don't know. Like, what does that mean? But, okay, seriously. If y'all know what it stands for, please let me know. Because, like, information on this group is surprisingly limited. I thought that they were going to be, like, I mean, I guess, like, I don't know, maybe this is naive to think, but because Jackie Chan is famous, I thought that his group would be famous, but we all know. It's no secret that in order for a group to be put on, their agency has to go hard for them. Like, nobody can be rooting louder than the agency for their group, because then the group will just fall into nothingness, and I think this is essentially what happened here. So, like I said, um... They debuted. I actually remember when they debuted. It was it was a really, really big deal. You know, like I said, Jackie Chan's name was linked to them. It makes you want to tune in. Um, I was definitely confused. I'm like, the Jackie Chan, he wants to break into K-pop, like, out of all things. It was just, like, so interesting and bizarre to me. But I, I, was, I was totally here for it, you know? So, JJCC released one mini album, one EP, and 11 singles. Not bad. But considering they debuted in 2014, it could be better, you know? Like, where's their official studio album? Like, I'm still waiting. I'm not sure if they were ever nominated for any awards or if they won any of these awards. But I will say, I love two of their songs that I still currently play to this day. One of them being Fire. That was a bop. And then I also like the way Insomnia sounds. That's a really chill song. The songs have like two opposite vibes. Fire opens up like literally like fire. It's like, woo, okay instantly got hot in here i'm ready to turn it up you know and then insomnia is like oh okay yeah i'm ready to like chill lay down maybe go to sleep maybe not you know who knows might listen to this song or repeat on the loop who knows you know (laughs) i mean i just i I like their music they they were pretty they were promising you know 
I feel like any song that is called Insomnia, though, is perfect. I literally have, like, a whole list of idols who've titled their songs Insomnia. And I just, I love them all. All of them. I don't know why. And I, I'm, I'm not a fan of Insomnia at all. I actually don't experience it, thankfully. But it's not fun. But the songs you guys make about it, I love it. Anyways, the guys haven't released anything since 2016. And their last tour was in 2017. So that made me think, like, did they disband? Like, what is going on with them? But apparently not. They're still supposedly active. But what are they doing? I'm not sure. All I know for certain is Prince Mock left the group sometime in 2017. He must have known something that we didn't know. See, he signed to Emperor Entertainment Group Beijing so that he could promote himself as an actor. However, he is still letting the public know that he will always, always, always be considered a member of JJCC. By the way, is he really a prince or is that just a stage name? I'm supposed to be giving you guys the answers, but I feel like I have more questions regarding this group than answers, my darn self. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know about their name. I don't know about the members' names. I don't know about any of the names. All I know is that Jackie Chan made this group, and Jackie Chan is the man. Okay, seriously? (laughs) Seriously. Yul and San Chong, um, they actually went on to produce 101 Season 2, and they got eliminated, um... So it's it's cool that they got on the show, but they didn't make it too far. The rest of the members, including Yule, tried out for another show um, that's called Mix 9 with only Simba making the cut, but then Simba got let go as the show progressed. So as for the rest of the guys, you know, they've been active on Twitter and IG, but not so much in the studio. Like, what is going on with them? Is there some type of stipulation in their contract that they can't talk about? Like, what is going on? I wonder if they're, like, told, like, hey, you can't, like, talk about this. Like, you can't talk about the highest. Like, are they, like, like tied down to a contract where they can't speak on it? Like, I don't know. Apparently, Eco left the group as well. So, now they're down to, like, five members, I think, now. Whew. I hope to hear some music from them soon because they had an interesting sound. You know, but they need Jackie Chan to advocate for them, just like all the other agencies need to do with talented artists. The world will not know who these talented people are if the platform they're standing on is, like, not promoting them. Like, you can be the best singer in all the world. And there are some really amazing singers out there. There's, like, so much talent out there. The talent that is in the world is endless, right? But if they're not given a voice to showcase their their voice, like if they're not given a platform to showcase their voice, they'll just get drowned out by other people who probably don't even sing as good as them or dance as good as them or rap as good as them or whatever it is that they do. Like they need that push. I don't know what Jackie Chan is doing. I really don't know. Maybe he's making movies. I don't know. But they really need him. Like, Jackie, your group needs you. So, like, what do you guys think? Did you know who they were? Did you have any idea that there was a K-pop group out there operating that was created by the Jackie Chan? I mean, like I said, I grew up watching his movies. I loved Rush Hour 1 through 3. My mom would, like, buy all the Jackie Chan movies. He, like, he was, he's, he's just, like, awesome. Like, we think he's really funny, very talented, amazing. Um... I always thought that he was, like, really hilarious and a great actor and a performer. So, for him to, like, break into the music industry, I thought that was, like, really cool. I was so here for it. I just hope that he doesn't end up shelving JJCC. I mean, they've been around since 2014, and they haven't even released anything since 2016. The last time we've seen them all promoting was in 2017, and now the pandemic hit. So, it's like, we're probably really not going to see them anymore, you know? Like, I just, I don't know what's going on with them. Why haven't they released a full-length album? Like, do you guys think that they'll disband? Or do you think they're going to have, like, a comeback? Like, I don't know what to expect. Like, should we keep holding out? Should should we say something? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should just all tweet Jackie Chan and just be like, Hey, what happened to your K-pop group? Did you forget that you were in K-pop, sir? You can't just start something like this big up and then forget about it. Uh-uh-uh. Like, I don't know. 
<laughs> Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this. I'm very interested to know what you think. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this video. I will see you on the next one. Salam.